actually pretty fun. That's so out of my field. Yo, you don't think it could apply to art? Uh, art is kind of more like being creatively expressive, but organic chemistry is um, studying and being in a lab coat and mixing powder and stuff like this. Well, that isn't true. Oh, yeah. Actually, organic chemistry is a highly creative science in which chemists create new molecules and express the properties of existing compounds. It is the most popular field of study for ACS chemists and PDH chemists. Organic compounds are all around us. They are central to the economic growth of the United States in rubber, plastics, fuels, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, detergents, coatings, dye stuff. Hey man, what do you think of organic chemistry? Hey, what are you doing? I'm working on my English lit paper. Oh really? I thought you were a chemistry major. No, 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 no. Um, I took Gen Chem and it was really hard so I didn't want to go on to take Orgo because it's a lot of math and that's pretty difficult. So. Oh, actually, okay, I'm not like that. Actually, organic chemistry involves little to no math. Most of the subject involves a broad understanding of concepts. For instance, in general chemistry, you had to learn how to meticulously calculate things like free energy and enthalpy. In organic chemistry, all you need is a broad understanding of how each one changes relative to certain reactions. Hey, how's it going? Very hey, good. What's your major? Oh, I'm pre-med. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you taking organic chemistry? How is it? Yeah, I'm in it right now, and honestly, it is so rough. I don't see any relevance, relevance to medicine or my future career as a doctor at all. Really? I actually don't think that's true. Actually, organic chemistry is very relatable to medicine. For example, if you have a patient that presents with heartburn, the medicine that you would prescribe to them works through an organic reaction. The medicine acts as a mild base to neutralize the acid buildup in the esophagus, which is what causes the symptoms of heartburn. The heartburn is alleviated by deprotonating the hydrogen chloride, which involves removing the hydrogen atom from the acid and adding it to the base, which over here is sodium bicarbonate. This process, known as a proton transfer, is an important component of many concepts in organic chemistry. Would it be okay if I asked you a question about organic chemistry? I'm really in the over right now, so I don't think that I have anything relevant for that. Well, if you consider taking the class, maybe you can learn about why you're feeling that way and maybe how to prevent it in the future. Really? I didn't realize that organic chemistry pertained to me. Yeah, it pertains to everyone, actually. Well, I'll think about it. Thanks. Nausea, vomiting, and other symptoms of hangovers are caused by buildup of acetaldehyde in the body from binge drinking. Acetaldehyde is a product of ethanol, which is a primary component in alcohol. This buildup is caused by the oxidation of ethanol, which means the ethanol loses an electron in the form of hydrogen and turns into acetaldehyde. Uh, hey man, why are you, well, what are you doing? Hey man, I'm studying, man. Uh, it's late at night, man. Yeah, that's why I'm having this. Just to keep me awake. Yeah, do you know why it keeps you awake? Mm, I don't know, I just caffeine, so it stimulates me, stimulates me to be We obtain caffeine through synthesizing theophylline, which we get in the first place from tea leaves, and it's simply done by nitrogen methylation. You change the H to CH3. Let's face it, organic chemistry can be demoralizing. But if you stick with it, you'll grow to appreciate it. It was one of the most challenging but rewarding classes I ever took in college. No matter what field you're going into, it's relevant in all fields. All the hard work will pay off when you're taking other classes, like cell biology, biochemistry, and microbiology. Themes like steric hindrance, electronegativity, acids and bases, thermodynamics, and reactivity are not just concepts in the pages of your textbook. They are important to understanding life and the mechanisms of the world around us. Organic chemistry is an important tool that is relevant to many aspects of life. It makes you a more educated citizen, from understanding the food you eat, to the medicines you take, and even being able to draw the compounds listed on the back of your shampoo bottle is kinda cool. So keep on studying OCHEM students.